There. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with. Be so mighty and hunger to cheer at your service. <laughs> and and welcome back to Dave the Diver, where actually we would did it. In the next in-game day, the control room is going to be opened up. So I I'm very much doubting that that will be the ending of the game. There's probably still stuff beyond that. But we are getting closer and closer, so I, I I doubt we'll finish the game today, but in the next week I'm pretty sure that we will. Also something I noticed, you can see the branch in the distance. Branch? Oh, oh. <laughs> I can see... Wait, is it that far away? What? Yeah. It is in a more populated area, and well, there's a bunch of rocks in the way. <laughs> well... Only like Sunshoes used to say boat bar. That one is the beach bar. Yeah. Okay. All of these are done. Okay. Uh, off stream, we've, well, I've done a bit of research, and uh, yeah, we might have, to, or we're likely going to have to fire some people, since the costs have been driven up quite high. We're still making yeah. profits, but still. Yeah, okay. and we have some good news. Apparently, we have already some of the best stuff you can get. However, we did miss Dre, who's apparently the best manager. Yeah, the, apparently, the manager position is dependent on the total stats. And Dre gets the most uh, stats total of all the staff, of which there are 21 total. Uh, let's see. Have we, do we have any cat food for the cats? And yeah, we didn't have a good opening day. Ah, oh, goddammit. We didn't have a good opening day with the branch, but I think that was because it was a, a party day. So a yeah, lot of guests wanted uh, cucumber stuff. So we'll see how yeah. we do today. Yeah, this day we will see... If it, it's, if it will become a very big benefit or a possible handicap. Yeah. Also, I just realized 
We, we need to cover a lot more costs now, so let me just take a quick look at what some of our best recipes are at the moment. So I can try and go for that. Let's see, we have gelatinous snailfish. Okay, and salmon snailfish, of which we both have a good amount. It's the vegetables that we're low on. Bean and cherry tomato. Yeah, like, when it's only one or two fish, it's easy, or something like seaweed. That means we can collect ourselves from the farm and the sea. The vegetable do and rice, those are the trickier ones, including the eggs. Yeah, those are the... Those are the choke points. Also, yeah. I'm not sure if I've just not noticed it at all until recently, but when you have enough to enhance something, it has the green arrows here. I've completely overlooked that, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm had as well. But yeah. Beans and tomatoes is what we'll be focusing on with the plant with yeah, with planting from this point on. Um Yeah, that should be good to well have a bunch of it. <clears throat> that should sell well. Like this sells about as this is about as uh, not, as pricey as the uh, some of the special boss uh, yeah, dishes so it should definitely sell well if we can get a lot of it plus uh, it, there's nine servings of each i'm concerned mm -hmm. read the text about this uh, fried tomato snailfish let's see gelatinous snailfish and pink snailfish are diced and stirred fried and stir fried with tomatoes the sweet and sour taste of tomato and the simple taste of snailfish meat is dangerously addictive. <laughs> okay. I'm concerned. Sweet oh, yeah. and sour of tomato? I'm pretty sure tomatoes are mostly sweet. Hmm. Shared tomato sweet. But yeah, I think last time our show point was the cucumber, which was actually a hog festival for that is a massive show point. Yeah. Let's hope the next one is a bit more forgiving. For now... Yeah, like... Like the short one. Like, the short one again was the one we could earn so much if we didn't mess up on the first massive load today. Let's see. I don't think we have anything special to do. Besides hunt cookie shark. Yeah, co cookie sharks? <laughs> cookie cutter sharks? Now I'm just imagining a shark version of Cookie Monster. <laughs> no. Okay, we we actually have nothing to do, basically. We can turn these in and probably get some new quests. But beyond that, yeah, we are free to do whatever we, the hell we want until Dr. Bacon should be done with cutting open the control room tomorrow. <clears throat> so... Yeah, let's go hunt some creatures that we want breeding pairs of. Um... Wait, and, let's double check that actually. Was it more than one day? Uh, it took two days, and I believe we've already had one day part yes, uh, in the last stream, with today being the ah. second day, but I'm not entirely sure on that. So, let's see. What do you have? Okay, just these trigger bombs. Let's get those just in case, because I want to go take a look in the latest zone. But first, we head to the Sea People Village. <clears throat> and from what little I have spotted on the wiki, there isn't a Chapter 7 or anything like that. Though that does make me curious what those last two spots in the fish farm are for. Maybe DLC? Maybe? <clears throat> What I do know is that this game will be heading towards the Nintendo Switch uh, somewhat soon. Because in a new, in a recent uh, Nintendo Switch... Uh, I forget what they specifically called it, but in this Nintendo Switch showcase, they apparently announced that Dave the Diver will be heading towards the Switch. It wouldn't make sense, but it looks like it would fit Switch rather well. Yeah. Let's see. I'm just going to cultivate a bunch of these, non-specific. 
think that you heard us the new Switch 2. we be back to compatible. Yeah, likely. And hello there, pizza lover. How are you doing today? Doing decently well here. My mouth is not burning, but annoyed from a new uh, mouthwash I've tried, which was very aggressive. I actually recently, last week, tried my first mouthwash. Uh, oh, I tried it one time and I didn't, but this time I bought my own and holy, it's something. Yeah, that, some of that stuff is really aggressive. And Durban Lord is here too. And yeah, oh. <laughs> there's going to be a switch too. Uh, yeah, apparently dev kits have been going around already. Yeah, uh, and also, I'm not telling my gloss at one about if I clean them, for, I only see red and green. And is that a skull? Uh, no, that's just an android smiley face of sorts. Oh, oh yeah, that probably tells you people how, how my, bad my vision is without my glasses. <laughs> I, Anyways, I can only see Hillian's eye patch and hair. I can't see the rest of his face. Uh, let's see, pizza. Wait, like an actual Nintendo Switch too? Yeah, the, the word has been going around about yeah, that. That is, yeah, that is yeah, that that is going to get announced next year, likely, if not earlier. I think there've been some leaks about how it looks and. It might actually end up being named Nintendo Switch 2, for it still looks like a Switch. If it fits in the same charging bank, then I'm <laughs> it's going to ha make a lot of people happy. Yeah, do you do usually get a sh charging bank when you buy it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's... Hmm. If, it, if they are also hardwell, hardware uh, backwards compatible, that means that you can set up your switch in two different places at a monitor, or with a monitor. Okay, now I can see again. Uh, let's see, Durvin Lord. As I'm not in full screen, that's all I can see about Hillian Sudrick here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and a peach lover. Uh, let's see. Oh, next year I'm probably still not gonna be able to buy it. Uh, <laughs> I am broke AF. Yeah, I, d I hardly have any spending money left either in this month. Like, I, I have like 20 euros uh, to spend. Oh. Okay. You have so many games already. It's yeah. It's kind of unreal. Uh, that, that is why we've gone like freaking past 100 with Showcase Sunday already, and there's still more to go. The one annoying thing with that recently is that for some reason the integration between GOG and Steam has been has completely broken, so I can only see my GOG games on that instead of all the games. Actually, not all, only I can see all the games I own on every platform except for Steam. So that is yeah annoying to say the least, which because I was using that to keep track of where we were with the games and such. But I can keep, yeah, I can also just, yeah, <laughs> put a little bit more effort into it and check a second list of games. Okay, there. Hey, Dan. Hmm? All asleep already, a stupid thing. Are you gonna stop it with each first time of the stream? It almost can be eaten by an ape pelican eel. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. It's going to Let's grab see. that. Oh, pizza lover. Oh, by the way, I've been stuck on a decision. Trying to make it... Trying to make... I have had three people already, but I want to ask everybody I know, so... Could you guys help? Uh, okay, what's maybe? the question then? It depends on the question, really. Let's see, from Pizza Lord, I will need to send a picture so I could... So could you guys tell me where I could? Yeah, you could on the Discord. Uh, if you don't want it to be public, I can make a quick little channel after... Uh, actually, I don't need to do that after stream. I can do that right now. Uh, let's see... 
I'm actually going to pause the game for a second so I don't waste oxygen. Okay, I'll shut my drink. Come on. Yeah, there we I, go. I'm very thirsty from all the walking today. Uh, let's see, are you even on the Discord? Uh, yes, you should be. Okay, just great channel. Durvan. Private. Next. And then... Uh, wait, what was your... Actually... Uh, let's see... Uh, uh, your name's not Durvan on here, so I'm going to need another... Oh, Durvan uh, is not in the Discord. Dizzelover is. Yeah, but not, not there. <laughs> okay, that was a brain fart. My bad. Uh, let's see. Just pizza then. Create. Uh, wait, I messed that up. Uh, private channel. Yes. Okay, add members. There. And there. Okay. Uh, save changes. There. Okay, yeah, there's a new little channel at the bottom of chat and media. Uh, you can post, the, you, know, you can put the picture there. Okay. Uh, if you want to be in the Discord, Durban Lord, you can do uh, exclamation points Discord. I can you? also always invite them as well. I have a friend with Durban Lord after all. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Fish that we don't have. It's just a telescope fish and the Alaska Pollock. As well as the Narwhal and the Starry Skid and two others. That Wait, that looks like a seal. And that also look Wait, go, go back, go back. That's the Greenland well, okay. shark. Uh, but that's a Greenland shark, so go up a bit more. A bit more. A bit more. If the head looks mm. different, but that that could be some sort of seal. Yeah, it's a seal. Definitely. I'm just also this type of seal. It's hopefully not a sea leopard. Doesn't look like it. Mm. Probably not gonna be a seal of approval. Come on! Are those what I think they are? Or are these eel pouts? I think these are just eel pouts. Or whatever they were called again. Yeah, eel pouts. Okay, yeah, some of these fish here are really rather rare. And it does look like some new species have spawned here as well. You need to be a Greenland shark. We haven't done that yet. Poke. It's a derpy face. Pressure more. Mm, what's this? Boom. Ah. Okay, they do relatively low damage compared to our weapons now, but... <laughs> really? Wait, wait, For what happened? To... <laughs> the shark swallowed him whole. I missed that, but I had to look down. Oh, bloody heck. Uh, let's see, looks like a whale. Too small for that, I'd say. It... Uh, as of right now, we... Uh, ta -ta -ta. Ah, there we go. Okay, that was relatively easy. Yeah, there. Uh, let's see, I mean, you didn't have to, I didn't mind it being public, but sure, appreciate... Okay. Uh, so, the pics I sent as of right now, between both of them, Kitty1 and Doggo2. Uh, Bourbon, if it was a whale, I'd have made Avatar 2 jokes and be like, you better not be hunting the Tolkien. Okay, I haven't seen Avatar 2, and I'm actually not really interested in watching it either. So that's, uh, joke is yet, gone. Yeah, my, joke is gone. It was good. 
But he did say what it was good is also did speed rather see me as the first one, but still good to watch once. So nice graphics, but not much substance. Drink. No, no, yes. uh, repeat the story in different environment. Okay. He, basically, he, he still enjoyed the movie. It's, it, basically, it's still not a bad watch. No, I think a pile of rocks over there just moved. Mm. Should I check with the camera? Uh, might as well. Do I do, I, I do want some wa <laughs> some oxygen. Oh, hello. Hey, the coelacanth. Coelacanth. You almost had it. <laughs> Let's see. Captured whole sides. Oh. Nope. 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 And it's off. Is it coming back? I don't think it's coming back. Yeah. No, oh, they're gone before I could take a picture. Maybe next time. Okay, I do like that some of these you can miss. And yet there's Dr. Bacon still. And here lies John Watson, massive hypocrite and asshole. There's no way he got out of that alive. I'm pretty sure you saw, we, we could see uh, blood in the water as well. I wasn't sure, but was so, I was so smart in shock to see a bloody fire-breathing Krulosaurus. Uh, hello, Smiley. Uh, both of these on my ass now. Uh, Watch out for Uncle Uncle! Ah, there we go. And that little dumbass is just going to ship himself to me. There we go. Uh, let's see, could there also be a whale shark? Probably not though. Uh, oh yeah, Arvidos who had a pretty good story even so, but it was also somewhat typical Avatar stuff. Alright. So it's still good, just the no, overhyped it, basically. Yeah. And I, uh, it, it probably was stuck in development hell for a long time, so they ended up doing not much new anyway. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm just going to take a guess at what uh, the pictures are about, Durvin. Like either. A, <laughs> I'm guessing you're either thinking of adopting an animal or just a question of uh, <laughs> which picture do people like more. Uh, there you are, you little blue bastards. No, oh, if it's about adopting animals, I'm the wrong person for the... For each animal, it's different than their own. They have their own personality. So, like, you could have a good cat or a bad cat. A good dog or a bad dog? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Nah, not adapting. You'll see once you actually see the pictures. Okay. Come here, you. I do like that if you take too long with that, you sh they you end up shocking Dave instead. <laughs> there we go. Calling the drone on that. Like, I'm pretty sure of this area we only have two breeding pairs, and it's the Waptia, the little thing that's the little crab or shrimp-like things. And uh, another one. Yep. It would be also be good to put a breeding pair of dongles. Yeah. And I went, I must measure dongle! Hello, Uncle Dongle! Yep, yep, that was quite a turn. I can declare it was an extinct for. to how rather hard headed. Yeah. And <laughs> a bit of a disturbing smile. Yeah, that's a. It, now you see why literally you see the their moles are literal bear traps. Okay, might as well get another one of you. 
Maybe the most are designed to eat other species of armored yep. fish. Yep. Just late. Okay, I, I do like that the drone is also making some noise. Come here, you. Okay, he's being real picky with this for some reason. There we go. I'm saving this drone use for the dongle. Okay. Gotta lure it into charging. It, wait. Okay. I thought it would hit an unarmored part, but apparently the armor goes back a little bit more than I thought. Ow. Um... Okay, I should probably dive down. Because yeah, it's e <laughs> there's less. Yeah, I need to go down lower than I would need to go up because of that tail fin. This thing turns like a motherfucker. It really speed. <laughs> For how big it is, it is surprisingly agile. Yeah, but, 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 no. mother, motherfucker called me out on that. Okay. Uh, there should be a mirror here for me to just get out with. Uh, there it is. Okay. Let's clean that real quick. And go. Okay. And since we're heading back to the village, that will just give us a full heal. So we can actually go back in. Which, so in a way... Yep. Yeah, it doesn't make this area the easiest, but it does make it easier to cheese. And let's oh, see, pizza. On. Hill, really? We did not sure cheese flavor here of that in the Doritos. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure I tagged one of those. I tagged one of those. It is still just a 50-50 chance to get row from fish, I believe. Uh, we got one life of those and one dead, so decent chance. Okay, there's still some missing here. That's, I believe this is the coelacanth, though, so we can't capture that. Yeah, Let's... and one of them is a sea scorpion. And I think uh... you want to read the chat, uh, but I hill. Let's see. You know, this game reminds me of a whole lot uh, of this one game I used to play. A uh, really fun game, it was about an alien and a robot running a cafe and hunting zombies to then make those zombies into drinks and food like cupcakes in the basement, <laughs> what? It's, it sounds like, uh, it sounds like, uh, what was that game you called that recent, it's and its sequel recently got a remake. Uh, this, you, that sounds like a mixture of destroy all humans mixed with uh, Edward Scissorhands? No, not that. that. That one serial killer that was a butcher as well. Actually, there's been home? multiple butchers who were who went serial killer and basically fed their victims to, uh, well, another kind of victim. Oh, right. Um, uh, Sweeney... Wait, Sweeney Thor was a barber who was also a butcher, secretly. Okay. Seven or eight years old. That's not really old in today's uh, ecosystem with games, I'd say. Uh, depends who you ask. Yeah, when I th think old game, I'm thinking like pre-zeros. So 20, 30 years. Now, where is that bastard thing? For a moment, I thought I saw oxygen coming from <coughs> from the uh, wreckage. Ah, motherfucker! It really hits hard, so I think it might be best to leave it alone. 
But when I actually have... <clears throat> but when I actually have uh, a combat weapon equipped and not just this little <laughs> dart gun... Wait, can't you drink it? I'm pretty sure it's too big and tough for that. Like, the, 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 yeah, the darts only work up to a certain size of creature. Otherwise, we would have been stunning sharks and such long ago. Mm, true. And, okay, with the the toxic thing, it wasn't really that I caught a life one. I just got a whole one sent up instead of just uh, carvings. Hmm. Okay, let me get one of these again just to be extra sure okay, let's see pizza let me see if it's on my tab and i'll tell you the name okay yeah, it would be it, it does sound like it could be fun to try out just for the absurdity of it okay. <laughs> that was another recent game. I forgot its name, but you're a human. Serving a speed kitchen. And occasionally you serve your uh, customer to your other customers. By secretly killing them. Okay, can't say I know that one either. But that does sound like a Sweeney Todd game, sort of. In this case, it's more of a burger joint in space. Okay, but yeah, that's kind of also a sad thing with games these days, is that sort of like the video game crash where every asshole who could type could you know, make games uh, you, and just flooded the gaming market with that, with other crap. It's, it's kind of happening again. So a lot of good games get drowned out by everything. Yeah. Yep. Like you this know, one. Good games now, though. Yeah. yeah. Because of that, word of mouth uh, is a lot more <clears throat> is a lot more valuable these days as well. Once again, especially thanks to YouTubers. You're the one I already have a pair of, but you're going to not leave me alone, so we can make it a menage a trois. What? A menage a trois, it's a threesome. <laughs> and I think I just short circuited the uh, trakeer. I, I am going to need to put a cooldown on that, so... <laughs> okay. We know what's hiding here. Yeah, how we, see how you like this. Actually, I don't know if you can be tracked. Apparently the game is called Zombie Catchers. Zombie Catchers, okay. Yeah, I never heard of that. Well, not the first time I hear a zombie game with a zombie in title, but zombie catchers is... I mean, I admit, that zombie catchers is the uh, supposedly unique name for a zombie game. Uh, I'm pretty sure like 95% of all zombie games have zombie in the actual title. Yeah, but, but usually none of them involve in with anything form of catching them. Yeah, typically the just kill or be killed. Yeah. It's, it's a platform. I don't think any of the zombies involve cooking the zombies either. Yeah. There. Okay, we'll probably want some of these for extras. That's just an Atlantic card, I think. Or is that these? We have the gelatinous ones we'll want to have a good store of. Since they are our most... <laughs> our best dish at the moment, or our most pricey dish. Price does not always equate quality. 
Now then again, with Bancho, everything is quality. There. Let's see. Damn, it's still getting updated. Last update was on 26 July 2023. That's typically a good show of a, a good developer. If they're still working on something, even if it is, well, well past its uh, selling prime. Because that, that means they care about the longevity of their game. Not just, yeah, throw something out, get some cash. But what, sort of, what, what sort of tone was I putting on there? Yeah, just throw something into the stores, <laughs> get paid a few times, and then just fuck off to the next thing. It shows they actually, well, give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Let's see if we can find those other, the, yeah, those species of fish up in this area that we don't have pairs of. Hmm. Black pepper. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah, here. Oh, oh, that's the thing. A dolphin in a place like this? It must be a Lysodelphus pepperoni. That that last bit sounds like a, an Italian dish. I heard they are pack animals, but that one is swimming alone. Okay, so it's a dolphin uh, ancestor. I thought it's some whiskers. No, oh, it disappeared behind the iceberg. Okay, is that going to be a photo? A, a photo scene? Oh, oh, there are more of them behind the iceberg. The school of dolphins is always a sight to see. Maybe we should take a picture of them. Yeah, let's do that quickly. Before these scatter. I'm not sure if these are ancestors. Take a picture of five at once. Okay, let's retake oh, them. There we go, just as they're about to leave, I'm pretty sure. Okay. We missed one, we got another. Uh, let's see, pizza. Yeah, if, yeah, even one of my other fave games is it's also a platformer. I love uh, a lot. It's very like heavenly underrated. It's called Dan the Man. That sounds familiar. Yeah, that's not familiar. Hmm. I'll definitely. Oh, hello. Poor Beagle. Yeah, that's not going to work. It's such a yeah. weird name. If feel like you're calling it a poor Beagle, we you feeling sorry for it. Yeah, it's going to be sorry for messing with Dave. Oh, oh, come on, that should have counted. There we go. Was taking a risk with that last shot, but it paid off. Okay. And that's about all we can carry. Oh, and we got a tooth. Now we just gotta find a pillow somewhere on the water for the shark tooth fairy. <laughs> Wait. Does that be a shark fairy? <laughs> Can we just ask the Tatum? <laughs> I... <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if they would find that funny or would be insulted. Weren't they fairy in Minecraft? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's actually head out since we have all we can carry. There, there might be a out. potato fairy, so they might be more happy if you give them potatoes. <laughs> okay, let's keep you. Okay, 6.7 meters of shark. And we, wait, Ooh. we only got 15 feet of that? Greenland shark row. 
Okay, Pikai, oh, some, Sim, okay. Some yeah. historic uh, row as well. Okay, let me actually bring up the little spreadsheet that I've been... For some reason the mouse is reluctant to leave the game, but uh, I'll, I'll do that between streams anyways then. Then I'll, <clears throat> then I'll check on those. Uh, hello Udo, I have the picture. Wow, a dolphin found among the glaciers? Where have you been, Dave? The Antarctic or something? Mm -hmm. I found it deep in the deep waters of the Blue Hole. That's amazing. This Blue Hole is like a gold mine for a magazine. Yeah. That was a joke. <laughs> uh, to the fair, yeah. A good 900. <laughs> okay. At the time. Yeah, I'm thinking we might fire Lou, because I don't think he is one of the top uh, uh, yeah, top dispatchers. But Itsuki apparently is one of the best, and there is another of the best. And actually the second best chef as well in Charlie, I believe. Uh, Charlie and Pi, uh, we, we're gonna try, we try to recruit the best of the best, where we can. And Itsuki is also apparently the second best server. Okay. Let's head on over and prepare some meals. Okay, once again, going to aim for 40 about. Okay, nothing special. Let's see. Just a little extra check. Yeah, 10k in expenses. Okay. All right, is that across the week or... It's sales. Oh no, 3k expenses. Okay, I was looking at that wrong. Okay, that is still a lot more manageable than 10k. Yeah. And there we have those. Southern right whale dolphin. The southern right whale dolphin found in cold waters of the southern hemisphere has a you know, black sleek back and white belly. Okay. Not prehistoric penguin. <laughs> You see, not common penguin to show on movies and series and all that, or documentaries. Yeah. Hmm. Now, let's have a look at our staff, because what I also found out is that Master Drinkmaker is exclusive to Raoul. So there is no point in, well, having him just around for that. And yeah, Raptor is one of the best servers. I think he has third or fourth place. El Nino is considered the absolute best because he has cleaning master and drink serving as well. So it is, cons it, it, from what I found, it is advised to have cleaning master, drink serving master, and someone who will also serve cocktails. Wasabi refill is optional, but like we've been doing, you can just park Dave next to it and do that yourself. Maki is the best cook. And yeah, we're not we're not firing her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't recognize him. He is also supposed to be one of the best servers. Plus, he is also a cocktail server and tip master. So he could actually replace Raptor if we were to level him high enough. Oh. Wouldn't he also be very good in the other bronze place? Uh, yeah, but cocktail serving and drink serving and such, that is, does not come into effect at the branch, I believe. Or at least it's believed not to come into effect. Okay. So... Is the drink serving? Let me Place. look up... I'm going to have to look it up on my phone at this point, since apparently the mouse really doesn't want to leave the game for some reason now. Uh, oh let's see. Yep. Oh, apparently Total Warhammer 3 is also on sale. That just popped up on my phone as a notification. Uh, let's see. Who were the best 11? Because four people here and five people at the, uh, <clears throat> at the branch and then another two for dispatch. Let's see. The four best chefs are Maki, Charlie, Yusuke and Masayoshi. I think we have seen Masayoshi pop up. Then the four best servers, excluding Dre, because he has the highest max stats, and such would make the best ser not server manager. 
We have Itsuki as number one, Ko as number two, El Nino as number three, and Raptor as number four. This is based on their total uh, about. Yeah, this is based on the amount of serving skill they have per per level. So just their max divided by twenty. And yeah, Dre as the manager, and then the two best dispatchers are Pi and Davina, actually. So... Yeah. Hmm. Pi is I, very affordable. Yeah, let's hire the both of them then. Their have first look at details. Pi I think Pi was yeah. one of our first employees we hired. Yeah, that was the girl that we hired. I don't think we hired Pi. I'm pretty sure we hired Pi and then fired him. Uh, it was the starter girl we fired, I think. Anyways, he has 914 procure at max. And he also makes her a decent backup cook or server. So he would be nice to have early on. Let's see. I'll show you I'm still going strong. Okay. And then Charlie, you get 908 cooking. Maki, I believe, is the only one who will go over a thousand. And I, again, I think, I'm not entirely sure on that. Hopefully. And yeah, he has ingredient prep and cooking plus. And let's see. Data analysis reveals that the sushi bar has high potential. Okay. And just for the sake of it, let's check you. Wasabi, Refill, and Tipmaster. But only... Oh, you are a good all-rounder. So also someone good to have early on, I'd say. But... Not who we are looking for. Yeah, and uh, I can give my drink. Yeah, let's go with another TV ad. Okay. Um, let's see, do we start, do we fire some people already and just keep the best of the best do we, that we have at the moment, or... Hmm. Yeah, I say we keep them on for a little bit. Let's see, the menu, we have enough for, actually, one more thing that we can do, let's do invest a little bit of money by going to auto and getting some extra vegetables okay yep. Sorry, I prefer we don't fight people but then it depends how well the branch is doing yeah like are we doing so good enough we can have more than just two super uh departures and it can be worth uh, to keep them around. Okay, that's about all we have use for, I believe, here. Uh, let's see, Pizza Lover. Uh, damn, this Coco got me playing some nostalgic games. Oh, and in Zombie Catchers, your first weapon is actually Harpoon. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, did you guys look at the pictures? I haven't yet. I'll bring them up on my phone here, since I have Discord on that as well. <laughs> Uh, server. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> okay. okay. You you want to buy one or the other? Uh, my cat biased uh, vote would be on the cat then. That's two for the cats. <laughs> Okay, let's see, that's 18. That's 33. And there. Okay. 22, yeah, 40 ingredients for the dishes to be served. And let's see. Okay, do we have anyone with better cooking than Raoul? Not here present, but we likely will at the branch. So let's go make a quick visit.
Okay, staff. Uh, Yone. Okay. Let's swap you. Oh, we can only swap with Raiding Room. Oh. Then let's remove you first. Quick back and forth. Okay. <clears throat> Staff, you get swapped with Yone. And then we go put Raul to work at the branch. Maybe his drinks or his better drinks will make a better or yeah, make a bigger splash there. Because Yuna looks familiar. Uh, we should have investigated how many of these are based on YouTubers and VTubers and all that. Yeah, the wiki is a bit incomplete, but at least a few are. Like Dre is and Ko is. Apparently their full name is Ko Carnage. And they they are in the oh. game because they help pr promote it. I may have seen Ko Carnage turn around. Not watch the videos, but I've seen them pop up long ago in my recommendations. Uh, Raptor, Raptor the, yeah. is a YouTuber. I recognize the head, the coloring, everything. Okay, the wiki doesn't have a bit of trivia about if he is or not, but like I said, the, the wiki is rather incomplete. Yeah. You may hear the pink one. She looks like a, a VTuber almost. Okay, let's see. Let's just dispatch everyone at the moment. Uh, actually, what is the best dish we have at the moment with seasoning? Oh, uh, a piece of acid cat. Uh, that's olive oil, but that's with stargazer. Rice there. Salt. And sea grape. Okay. But it's only one serving each. Hmm. We want something that sells well and gives a bunch of servings. All praise cat loaf. <laughs> okay, it's going to be something that I'm low on ingredients on then, I'm guessing. Let's see, those are all max level. Coral trout. I'm, I'm guessing we don't have a breeding pair of that. Those are all Wait, max, so those on, are bosses. Hold on, hold on. I think you will see this uh, shot here. Hmm. Yeah, I might just count both of you guys as one vote. Probably fair. What? How? <laughs> uh, let's see. Bull it basically means we, we both make half a person. <laughs> or, or one person and one mascot. Hey! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just dispatch them to get whatever we have the le least of. So 23, 16, 14, 6, and 8. Okay, 1, 2, 3. Actually, 2 will do. <laughs> Pizza, I mean, one is a person, one is a lizard. He does have you there. You want me to go over and burn down your village from the sky? <laughs> I just need to grow some wings and eat some very spicy peppers, but I can do it. Okay. There. The Greenland shark inhabits the coldest waters amongst the sh um, among the sharks. It grows very slowly. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so the descriptions here are just the same as uh, on their cards. Okay, why is this still showing? Uh, let's see. And the person is also missing an eye. <laughs> Any comments for that, Helium? Yeah, I'm guessing he means to say that my perception of matters is hampered. <laughs> I feel like this is already having a jab at us. Yeah, just jab at uh, the bad eye, not the good one. 
What is this? What needs to come over and pillage? Big, catch a few of these while we're going around. Those dirty seats won't get filled. Hmm. We might actually run out of food. Or uh, we have seven left. Ah, no, the rush is over. Okay. Hmm. Okay, 36 people again. <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh, I... There... <laughs> okay, I thought for a moment the game had glitched. Okay, that's the amount of likes that we needed for the next rank. Yeah, a small drop. Yeah, a small drop in profits, but a big, a good increase hey. in score. I looked between the today and yesterday. Uh, yeah, what about? It's barely noticeable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, something that I had... Oh, the branch. Okay, doing a lot better. They used up a bunch of cardinal fish and butterfly, but they still made... Uh, they, they made a rather bad profit, but okay, it's just extra. Yeah, they'll be digging rather poor. Not the best of the best. We'll be giving them more... Uh, the ones we had extreme a lot of uh, that were also the more early game ones. Yeah. Mm. Oh, bacon. So... Okay, uh, before I start with this, something I actually learned is that you can change the menu if you run out of ingredients during a shift. Because uh, that was what he Isaiah Ruzir was actually doing uh, <clears throat> in uh, their, uh, on their stream. Okay. So if you absolutely, if you really underestimated how many people there are, you can just quickly throw something onto the menu. Let's see. Phew, I barely managed to cut it. It's very tough and thick. It is large enough now for a person to go through. Come down here when you're ready. Finally, I'm in the control room. Oop. It's common sense to clear all the missions before fighting the bosses in, in an RPG. Mm -hmm. This is not an RPG game, but being overly prepared doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay, so this is most... Oh, okay, so there is a chapter 7. Okay. Again, nope. wiki incomplete. Okay. Hmm? Some kind of mail is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, oh. boy, Hilda did something funny. He switched... Thick and tough around. <laughs> the steel red was just in wrong order. Let's see. Hello, everyone. It is uh, This is the Spice Lab. We researched the perfect combination of various spices and ingredients. We've heard that the waters of the Blue Hole are like a world fair that exhibits all kinds of marine species. What kind of uh, palatial surprises shall we find when various fish and spices meet? We will embark on this culinary journey in three days. Our chosen ingredient is curry. Curry is well known for its anti-cancer and anti-dementia properties. Meet the new taste of the blue hole at the party. The spice lab. Oh no! <laughs> All I'm right. horrified. No. I never heard of... Have you not heard of the horror stories of free curry night? Uh, where people can, can add whatever they want to it. Uh, hot. More of don't go to the bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you re you eat a lot now. But I don't think you will remind me of a Monty Python sketch. Hmm? I don't know. I think nowadays I don't think they should have done it, but they, it's the I can't believe it. It's, it's it, again. This is a very old Monty Python, the Pakistanian Dalek. 
Okay. Yeah, apparently the Adolic is a uh, dad to, to, to uh, a human wife and son. And he keeps saying, put it in the curry, including grandma. Okay, I can see why I never heard of that one. Uh, I just see. found on YouTube one day, you long ago, before I met you, I just looked at it and went, what the heck is that? This is even weird for Monty Python. Yeah. Okay, we do need to upgrade something to 375 or more tastes. Okay. But yeah, it does sound like if we do go into the control room, that it will be a point of no return towards the end of the game. So, yeah, as it is, let's use our other days to do the festival. Also, gain up money to fully upgrade ourselves. Max yeah, us that, up. No, yeah, that's uh, Dave's equipment. That can we that we can certainly do. Yeah, I'm that's not I mean. the not the people at the bar though, since apparently oh, no, training no. someone from level nineteen to twenty cost one hundred k. So yeah. yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, just Dave's equipment, but he's the one doing the boss fighting. Okay, uh, let's see. Best okay, let's taste see thing that we have. Okay, let's go see for pizza lover. If you like that, though, if you just always over uh, in games before fighting bosses, the top enemies, true. Next message from pizza lover. And I am back. Okay. Oh, wait, it's BRB. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> I like this. However, I do have one smoke tree, but do it, it's move. Hey, the bronze is over there now. <laughs> okay, my. <laughs> okay, I completely missed that. But if the branch is now in those animations, well, that that just extra show of just how much effort and detail they put into this. Yeah. All right, my little criticism for the scene. Otherwise, is when he's about to draw out the knife. With all the flashing there, it annoys my eyes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's going to be one of the dishes that is going to hit that maximum, uh, I guess. I will let you read the, the last matches, message. <laughs> OMG, the way you say BRB, it sounds like a motorcycle or something. <laughs> it's no rhyme. Okay. 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 Hmm. But if I made Pizza Boy die of laughter, I will see that as a good revenge. Okay, I, I am a bit split because I do want to oh, see what. What do you think? Need right? Yeah, that's the. That's another one of these open. Hmm. No. I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put down a save, a separate save, that like the, at the app, no, at the top sp spot, and then we go down to the control room and see what's going on, because I very much doubt that it's just going to be instantly over. Nope. And yeah, if it does end the game and there's no going back to the normal routine, then we then we just load up the old save. <clears throat> I'm not sure if we, if we and dare to do that. Then. Oh, um, uh, Durban Lord, are you still here? Let's see. Back with the pizza boy. Eh? <laughs> uh, Is that returned Canadian? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Bunch of these. Uh, holy! Holy crap! Um, is this your screenshot saver? <laughs> it could probably function as one. Don't think you see you use screen savers? I think so. Yeah. 
Okay. White like shrimp. Barrel jellyfish. I don't remember if I told the Drubal Lord that we named the chicken after them. <laughs> well, we consider it told now. Uh, oh, wait. Um, I just realized. Have we been good back to the farm? Oh. There's someone else we should introduce to in chat there, too. Okay, after we've done this, uh, let's see. There. There. Yeah, also, something I thought up or thought up slash realized as well is that uh, something a lot of games don't actually do is to give good uh, off time. So we're time for things to calm down and relax some. But this, these daily chores with Dave that I've that us fill that in. There's a specific yeah. word for it, I believe, but I forgotten it. Uh, downtime? Yeah, not that. It's something more specific. I believe it's I'm used sure. in uh, Japanese cinema or something. I'm unsure. I don't know that in some JRPGs you have. Occasionally a chapter or a small bit, but it's a uh, calm down. Like, do they even have that in uh, Cyber Sleuth? Yeah. And not in the typical silence before the storm stuff. Okay. A good amount extra here. There. And the rest we can leave be. It's the Dunkel and the Falcatus and the Armored Ray that we need breeding pairs of still. Yeah. Do we have at least a breeding pair of the other shark like thing? Uh, pizza. Like a shark eel. Let's see. I got three more people who are left for me to ask something. Uh, to ask, otherwise it has become Kitty 3 Doggo uh, 2. Okay, so that could still go either way. There. And that's that, I think. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Now we go back to the farm and introduce a pizza lover to someone. There. And then last but not least. Okay. Really should do a night dive to just fill up that, but I will. Okay, to the farm. <clears throat> now Let's... let the well that, that on the first try. Behold! Now go back. You went on the right chicken there. Yeah, I know. Behold, pizza lover, we added you to the game. <laughs> they get fed purely on a... They, they only get fed pizza crust. Uh, All right. Wouldn't that kill them? No, pizza crust would still be bread. As long as it That's is not the issue. stuffed. Doesn't bread kill birds? Uh, only specific types, like very absorbent types of breads. Oh, so pizza crust is safe? Yeah, it should be at least. Like it's more like it's pizza crust is sort of like crust of normal breads in that it's hard and not really that absorbent. It's the absorbent uh, part of bread that it's typically. Uh, the absorbent part of the more absorbent you know, bread types that are bad for birds, like ducks. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Now then. Let's have a look. Nutrition is good on those. Anything for sell? Ink bomb. Sets enough an ink bomb to create an inky area. Enemies can't detect Dave while he's inside the inky area. Okay. 
Enemies enveloped by the ink become incapable of detection. Let's get that and that. Wait, we, we got our own quote unquote smoke bomb. Yep. Oh, and that's maxed out air tank. Let's see. I'm going to guess that the cargo box can only go can only get another two upgrades then. So from two, eight, nine, and ten. But yeah, with that safe established, let's go see about that control room. Not that I'm not that I want to rush finishing this game, but I don't want to delay. <clears throat> or I don't want to uh, stay away from it or hold it off for too long because yeah. I'll, I'll still continue to playing this game even after we finish the story i'm presuming there's going to be not really a new game plus but that you can just continue running the restaurant afterwards hmm. okay there Uh, Placerdomes lived in the primeval oceans of North America. The yep, damn it. Okay. Up to ten meters away, about four tons. Yep. Yep. I forgot something. I forgot to grab an actual gun. Oh uh, well, we'll probably be able to pick one up. Well, if there is a boss fight, we'll be yeah, you know, we'll be able to pick one up there. For now, let's just see whatever we can find and what awaits us in the control room. Another one? Okay. Oh, you just realized. Yikes, the ground is rumbling again. It's getting more intense. I should quickly go down to the control room. Okay. Uh, you were going yeah. to say? The only thing I just realized we probably will uh, want to start before doing the boss room is upgrading our weapons. Uh, did we actually have enough for the death rifle? Or hmm. yeah, we can we can consider it. if there is going to be a boss fight. That would not be. Uh, I would not be. I would not expect this game to do some sort of fake out or something and that there isn't an actual boss fight or something likely still going to be one but yeah we'll, we'll just have to see how things go no you'll be able to go in a few hot air coming out from out uh, out from inside well that is not a good sign be careful yeah go to new region Oh, oh, new region, new fish. Because there are still two more. Oh, uh, the roots have severely mutated. The door is blocked by tree sap. There should be a way to go inside. Okay. Oh no. One more dungeon. Did go wrong? Mutated. Could it be? experimenting with it and use it for experimentations yeah uh, hello what there is that? it's one of those geothermal snails let's see uh, I'm pretty sure they don't get that big okay Okay, okay. it's a lover, oh, I guess. Okay, the thing about these things is that their shells are made entirely out of uh, metals, I believe, or mostly out of metals. Ooh, All right. right. Yeah. And it's going to just scoot off. And we're trapped. No, the path is cut off. Oh. Other paths are blocked by the tree sub as well. Sea scorpion and mutated divine tree fruit. This is terrible. 
must somehow find a way. Why what? Okay. Yeah, that's our sea scorpion, it looks like. Okay. They uh, were mutated? Okay. No time for a hug. Huggies! Okay, and it just bounces off the walls. Yep, now another one, damn it. Yeah, I should have brought a gun. Actually, go to sleep. Okay, that doesn't work on them. Okay, prob would have been better if I'd found some... Uh, Mega low graptus. Okay. Would have been better if I'd found a few uh, harpoon upgrades. Why not that he's like lobster? Yeah, yeah. don't think. Uh, Okay, I, yeah, I think we're just going to get hugged to death by these things. Yeah, I don't think we were, we are prepared for this. Oh, uh, well. At least we sort of know what's waiting for us now. So, uh, reload? Or... Uh, or accidentally just kill them all. <laughs> okay. Come on, there we Low go. Low quality. They're the right nine still. <laughs> okay, is it going to blow up? Yep, it's going to blow on its own. <laughs> oh, I can pop the sap using this mutated divine uh, uh, tree fruit. Mm. What if I drop this mutated divine tree fruit onto the door I saw earlier? You know you can start, you can shorten the names a bit, Dave. So, you're coming with me. Hmm. The hydrothermal vent is blocking the door. Is there any way to stop the water jets? Yep. Heavy metal snail! There. Wait. Solid snail, is that you? <laughs> nice, it's been stopped. I better pass before it moves again. Yeah. <laughs> I guess time hasn't been a uh, nice to <laughs> solid snail. That is a massive crater. Okay, the top wall looks loose. It may collapse if the crater, uh, if the crater erupts a little higher. Don't you mean a geyser? Ah, I see. Okay, we need to block the vent. We need to block the vents to force all of the pressure into the geyser. So we need to be a bit fast with it. Because these things aren't as lazy or slow as snails are pertained to be. Oh, uh, this is not a fun puzzle. There we go. Yeah, it is annoying, but doable. So what is that spitting out? The way up is now open. I should bring the divine tree fruit here with me. At least these don't hurt. Wait, did it actually refill my oxygen there? Or was it just refilled from completing the task? Like them? I don't think you've got anything from that. I thought it's I saw my my, my oxygen go up, but it might have just been me. Okay, now get out. There we go. The door is open. It looks spooky inside. I should be careful. Okay. Divine Tree Control Room. Yeah. 
I think it's I think it being dark is more of just a gameplay feature that just to say do not get caught in these because the others were where the other thermal vents were harmless. Could be in the short is blotting out. Yeah, that would be extra reason to stay out. Yep, yep, yep. And yeah, it causes burning. Okay, what is there? Ooh. That. Okay, looks like the snails are just stuck in there now. There. I saw oh, no, the little bastard got out. His move. Where is he? Okay, he is trying to move, but he's still stuck. Okay. But yeah, these things are a, a good example of extreme of our life. As in. Well, creatures that can live under extreme circumstances that would kill anything else. Okay. Yikes, what are those gross-looking eggs? Why are they attached to the divine tree roots? Uh... Oh, hello. Wait, are... strange creatures have hatched, hatched from the eggs. Wait, those creatures. I've seen them in one of the Sea People's murals. Oh, right. Tenzin once told me that the ancient engineer altered creatures by infusing the divine tree energy. These may be the creatures. They have survived for such a long period of time, still breathing. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Okay, these are these trillo like things. They're not trilobites. I probably ate them. Okay, I'm not luckily a terrorist. Not Luckily enough, they pop. Yep. Get off. Okay, they're parasitic. I don't think you just want to eat your face. Great, on the water's face huggers. Okay. That's probably what is messing with the divine tree. They're sapping its energy or something. Okay, another one way trip. And another light gun. Uh, that's a lot. There are even more eggs here? They look like they're ready to hatch, but I can't go back now. There is a door there. Maybe I could melt the mucus covering the door? There's one last good fruit. Should I put it in the fruit device? Come on, quickly now. Come on. There we go. Before we become dinner, or rather breakfast for these things. Okay. Good, the contraption is working. Maybe it can melt the mucus by projecting the light from the divine... Yeah. Okay. They are not happy about that. Oh no, the eggs are hatching. I need to get rid of them before I can melt the mucus. In the room, right? Damn it, on Pokemon Silver and Gold. Right. A Pokemon based on one of these. That you could uh, revive from a fossil. Uh, do. Th yeah, there is one of them. Uh, it's a grass rock type, I believe. Phew, that was the last mm -hmm. one. Let me melt the mucus covering the door. Rock. And they were actually going for the light instead of Dave. Uh, even more of them. Uh, uh, more eggs are hatching. I'm gonna need to get rid of them before I can do anything, before doing anything else. Okay. They can open light and killed. There we go. They are growing in number. I must open the door and escape. Okay, this this works a lot better than actually trying to harpoon them. <laughs> because they are getting a bit too many. God, more are hatching. This time I will eliminate them once and for all.
There we go. Attack of the shrimps. Carve these things up into... Yeah, we're not going to serve these as sushi. Um... Alright, right, one of them might be a boss fight. That should be the last of them. We must quickly melt the mucus covering the door before anything else shows up. Don't jinx it, Dave. Nice, the mucus is all gone. Must be the core of the control room over there. Let's find out what it is. Okay, I go. There's a heartbeat either in the music or in the sound effects at the moment. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Enter. We, we have no choice. Oh. <laughs> we, act we actually, yeah, we can't turn back no matter what since the door is closed. Okay. Ugh, the offspring of that ancient creature is clinging to something. Is that the nucleus of the Divine Tree? Could that be why the Divine Tree is acting strange? I need to get rid of these creatures, uh, creatures first. Okay, is there another light cannon somewhere around here? What was that noise? Okay. As long as they're busy with the tree, they're not going after me. So I probably should not poke extra holes into it. No, the, the king of the gar Ganon, Garon, Ingis. There we go. Really messed up for the, the people in the long run. Yeah. Mm. Looks like the divine tree's nucleus is stabilized again. Mm. I guess should, they should do it. Phew, I hope the earthquakes, the earthquakes will stop now. I should start heading back to land. You were forgetting about something, Dave. It, uh, oh, uh, hello. Uh, what on earth is that? Is that the mom of those creatures I saw earlier? No wonder there were eggs everywhere. Okay, time for a Zelda boss. Because this looks a bit like that thing from a uh, Wind Waker in the volcano. I forgot its name. Yeah, just back off. Back. Oh, oh, hello. Yeah, I don't think a harpoon is going to do much against this and the dart even less. I tracked you down in case you needed help. What's going on here? A huge monster came out of the lava. You come out from the lava. Hmm. I know what that is. I've seen a lot of, uh, in the text about the ancient civilization of the Sea People. It looks like the creature uh, known as Yawi. An ancient beast of le from legend, still alive. And it's massively bigger. The sea People Elder told me about some old experiments. Yawi. Yawi sounds somewhat familiar to me. Yeah, they, they have mentioned that in the past, when we first time met them uh, in the village. Okay. It must have absorbed the divine tree and the geothermal energy to get this big. We have to defeat it, we have to, defeat it to stabilize the divine tree. Dave, I'm counting on you. What? How can I possibly defeat such a huge ancient creature? It took down a dinosaur just a moment ago. That was two days ago. No, and that was a different dinosaur. situation. <laughs> I don't even have any weapons or bullets now. Is that the game acknowledging that we went into this with just, just the dart gun? Oh, hello, Duff. Dave, isn't the weapon right here? Huh? Duff, what are you talking about? I told you, this drone has all kinds of hidden features. I knew this day would come. But it was a bit sooner than expected. I'll input the activation code for the drone's attack mode. <laughs> I was expecting that, since that thing has handles at the back of it. Yep. 
Wow, it can do that? This drone can maintain oxygen levels, fire unlimited bullets, and even manipulate time. What? Manipulate time? Yes. Uh, if you press this, you can temporarily yeah, yeah. <clears throat> manipulate time. You should give you some time to dodge attacks. Of course, you need to be quick. This is all the help I can give right now. So, <laughs> I hope <laughs> I won't. Uh, uh, I hope we won't be saying our final goodbyes. Goodbye, T. No. See you again, <laughs> guy. Eternity. Uh, okay, here we go then. Dave versus Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh is the new that specific one. Yeah. I can't just run away now, not after getting this far. Alright, let's deal with this. Okay, how do I use this thing? Okay. <laughs> it becomes a shooter like this. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to need to crack its armor or something. Uh, what is it up to? Oh. It's pooping at us. Okay. Ooh. Is it weeping? Okay, oh, that's oh, its oh. that's its uh, youngest young. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that seems to be all of them. Back to getting crapped on. Oh. Stage two. So I like this music. Our current attack level might not be enough. This enemy is tougher than we expected. I didn't want to go this far, but let's unlock the limiter. Why did you do that from the start? Who brings out their trump card right at the beginning of a game? Yeah, plus if you overextend yourself from using your strongest attack first, you're just going to get your ass kicked by the second guy who comes around. Just watch this. Uh, Okay, I call it Stella Laser. A super-powered laser combined, uh, combining all our tech. Never thought we'd use it underwater. Hm. Okay. Pay attention. If you hold X, you can gather stellar energy. Let go of the button to fire. Easy, right? And keep in mind that you'll move slower while charging, so be careful. Good luck, Dave. A charge and fire laser, huh? Great, let's finish with this. Oop, wrong button. Yep. yep. Not enough charge time. No, that's a new. Dude, that's a big one. <laughs> yep. Okay. Also, what it means by maintain oxygen levels is that it doesn't... Uh, we don't lose oxygen just from being around anymore. Luckily enough. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I thought it was calling those back, but apparently not. Okay. Here we go with this again. Oh, okay, those split up. Okay. Okay. 
also, as has been the case throughout the entire game so far, nice music. Oh yeah. Okay. Smile for the camera. There we go. Was that the last hit? Or just to the final phase? Hey. Nope. She's retreating. Oh, it's trying to run away. If we don't kill it now, it'll continue to cause problems. Let's put an end to this once and for all. Okay, now it's going to become even more of a side scroll shooter like this. There we go. It's in full reverse. Oh, bounce. Okay, I see now the bar at the below <clears throat> below the other stats. Ooh. That is how much uh, time manipulation effect we have. Yep. Fell behind a bit. Yeah, the laser is about the is about the same power as twenty shots. So, and it does come out faster than that. Okay. Giving up. Go. Oh, seems like it's finally it's finally tired. Now's our chance, Dave. We need to end it. We need to end. Good. Okay. Don't lose the drone. Is it going to try and escape through that? Come on, Dave. Grab the drone and keep shooting. Whoa, that was close. Look, it's using the, his last bit of strength. Dave, move to that open path for now. It won't be able you know, to hold on much longer. Ooh. Up, up. This isn't much chase them as it is get chased. Uh. Also, why did can all of these things breathe fire on the water? It's more like a heat ray. Or plasma? Is it breathing, shooting on plasma or lava? Hello, Sergeant from, from Pizza Lover. Well, Tata Mothra's underwater <laughs> custom? What? I guess whatever this thing is supposed to be or was supposed to be could be considered an extramilial ancestor to Mothra. <laughs> Not even close. Ah, crap. It's a dead end. What is there to do? Go well, have her <laughs> turn a dead end into her last stand, Dave. Quickly now. For you're the one that's fried. Yeah. Nope. Ah, it's stuck. Ah, the creature's entangled in the divine tree. It's a lucky opportunity to finish it off. Hmm. The drone seems to be malfunctioning. I can't pick up the weapon signal. Well, what should I do? Is there anything useful around here? There's divine fruits. Nope. 
There's a huge divine tree fruit device over there. The fruit yeah, seems to have returned to normal. Whatever put it in there and operate it. No, it, it's too big. I can't possibly move and aim it all by myself. Three, two... Er? Oh, <laughs> okay, not by ourselves. Are you alright, human? Oh, sea people! We came down here because you didn't come up even though the divine tree was stabilized. Uh, it, is that Yaoi? Has it grown that big over this long a, a period of time? It seems like we need to defeat that creature to end this. This is our chance while it's tied up. Let's finish it off. That won't be enough. Unless we use the divine, you know, the divine device over there. Well, given my expertise in both physics and math, it seems like we uh, might need to adjust the angle of the device upwards. Don't try to act smart now. Well, that might work, but it looks incredibly heavy. We'll help. If five of us combine our strengths, we can do it somehow. You bring the divine tree fruit and put it in. There's no time. Okay, hopefully this thing will just need one charge. Though I guess it's going to need multiple. And those guards are finally being useful. Oh dear gods. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's going to need multiple. Alright, I'm ready. The rise is responding. It's time to end our long history. You pesky nuisance, take this. They're refining the laser. <laughs> Achievement Creature Hunter. Caught all bosses. My aim was precise. It won't recover from that state. But yeah, we blasted its freaking brains out. That's a, that's a little bit gory for this game. Phew. This has really been an incredible journey. You did a great job, human. Let's go back to the Sea People Village and talk. Oh, they're not going even to... Oh. I very much doubt that Bonsha would want to work with this stuff, seeing as it's corrupted. Ugh. Yeah. The water temperature has stabilized and the divine tree fruit is also in good condition. The villagers who were ill seem to be slowly improving. We faced many challenges, but it's a relief that we've managed to overcome them. I think the earthquakes on the mainland will stop as well. How about going up and checking the status? Good job, human. Come and visit us often. <laughs> and... Yep. Epilogue. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's keep that little body in our pockets. <laughs> the only thing we caught, technically, was <laughs> the sea things. Okay. Sea things. You see things. Sea scorpions. It's already night time. It's been a long day. I think I'll drop by Bancho Sushi. Okay. Can't do anything else. Not even check the phone. Wait, what's with the bag shown over there? <laughs> Duff, I don't think that works. Or, oh, he's just eating pizza on his end. <laughs> okay, the cats together. Yeah, even Vincent. Hey there, Dave. You're finally back. Oh, everyone's gathered here. We heard from Dr. Bacon. You've, you've accomplished a lot. You did a good job. How about we all relax today and enjoy some food together? Whoa, awesome. I was worried I might have to get right back to work. Great, we should all celebrate together. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while, Bancho Sushi. How are you, Sammy? Are you enjoying your life here? You know it. There are times when I get a bit bored, but it's also incredibly inspiring. Yo, 
Yeah. The new song that I recently released, Farmer Daddy, online has been getting great feedback, you know? Yeah. So, are you, so you're still amazing, making music, huh? Yeah. For sure. The sound of a <laughs> the sound of a hoe hitting the ground, the clucking of a hen, it's all just one big beat to me, yo. Why didn't he come in person? Because I'm waiting for an important parcel today. I've been inspired from afar by your bravery, Dave. The way you fought tirelessly, tirelessly to save the Sea People Village. If you were a beautiful girl, I might have joined your fandom. <laughs> Ali knows what he likes. I'll pour all my energy into weapon research to prepare for any upcoming crises. As your colleague, I'm counting on your continued efforts, Dave. Hmm, alright. He does have somewhat of a point. If one such hidden danger was lurking under the water, there might be others. Wait, wait, hold on. He's here in a hologram form. Yeah. They have holograms. <laughs> yeah, we've had that with Dr. Bacon as well, with, his, the, with the drone. And yeah, he's just having pizza and soda on his end. I'm guessing they just put this plate here just for the thought of it. <laughs> a true feast. They're always so busy, we've hardly had the time to chat. Mm. Now that things are calmer, I'll have plenty of time to share with you some uh, some more of my stories. Um, sir, back in my diving days, I was mostly into freediving. And I wore the necklace my father gave me. But barracudas had a tendency to attack anything that shines. Out of nowhere, a school of barracudas came at me. Even worse, I didn't have a harpoon that day. I figured fleeing might be more dangerous, so I swam straight into the barracudas. <laughs> well, I think the crown just shook. Uh -huh. Huh? Hey? I didn't feel anything. <laughs> Dave, you've worked really hard. It's gratifying to see your venture prospering. Yep. <laughs> and she has the shark head. That's largely thanks uh, to you providing such reliable staff. That's you. you must have had your plate full with all kinds of things. But now I hope you can support Bancho in running the restaurant effectively. Bancho is a bit stubborn and might stir up some problems if left to his own devices. Yeah, in a way he is sort of like some game directors like that. That... It's not. They are good at what they do, but they do need to be kept on a somewhat of a leash so they don't just, yep, go completely insane with things. <clears throat> hey, Dave. Your assistance has really helped elevate my status at the company. We've had a new reporter now, which lightens my load a bit. Yeah. So I can even so I can even afford to join in these evening gatherings. Since I cannot drink beer, I stick to non-alcoholic drinks, though. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that that was helpful. So you don't mean, need me to help with the reporting anymore, right? What are you talking about? I still don't know how to dive. <laughs> if there's anything I need help with, I'll come looking for you. Cobra. Good job, Dave. I only opened a shop here because this place has plenty of fish. Who knew it had such a secret? Well, you've solved the problem, and my business is booming now. I guess my decision was right after all. It was a fun experience. Coming here was a good idea. I'm thinking about seeking out another adventure. What do you think? Let's just rest for now, Cobra. <laughs> okay, definitely leaving the door open for a day of the diver too, which I'd be more than up to if they keep up this similar balance of things. Yeah. <laughs> First time seeing you in the shop, huh? Well, I just finished submitting my paper, so I'm a bit free. Good, I'm glad for you. Uh, that eco bag there? I haven't seen it before. <laughs> you have sharp eyes. It's the reward for maxing out the eco watcher level. Wait, w weren't we ahead of you on that? It's a service that prints the face of users committed to environmental protection on a bag. <laughs> You've really been putting a lot of work in since you got some free time. I can't fall behind. Sato? Ah, Sato. You made it too? <laughs> okay, that sounded a lot deeper suddenly. <laughs> I heard you've been venturing into glaciers to collect Marinka, and I thought I'd show some support. Well, that's not quite true, but... Thanks to you, my world ranking keeps getting better and better. <laughs> 
Now that the big event is behind us, let's see about gathering the remaining Marinka. Oops, just remembered. I forgot to turn off the lights after uh, the, after Giao uh, went to sleep. I just realized something. Hmm? He might be, he is, might be a reference to Ash Ketchum, but yep. not only that. He might be what Ketchum should actually be of age at the moment if they bothered aging him properly. Yeah, he'd be like, what, 43 or something? Yeah, for if I remember right, the aired Pokemon series for a longer time in Japan than the rest of the world. Yeah. <clears throat> I still can't believe what happens. Not just the Sea People civilization, but the village too. You even solved the crisis. Great job. From now on, we should keep this civilization secret. They need to maintain the peace they've regained. Yeah. If they want to initiate contact with uh, the surface world again, that's up to them. Yeah. Although it was quite a roller coaster, I've learned so much from Bancho. Mm. I wonder if I was too focused on fancy food and missed out on what true flavor is. Oh. But I still can't get myself to eat that built shark head over there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, please keep running the branch smoothly and sharing more wonderful dishes with people, Dave. Yeah, Bonzo, could you learn a little bit more about the presentation of that shark head? Yeah, maybe make it a bit more appetizing to look. Yeah. Oh, Vincent, are you here alone tonight? I didn't come here to raid your restaurant today, so don't stress. Take it easy. When I dine in peace, I can savor the intricate flavors more. It's delicious. I'm happy to hear that. I guess my prejudices have worn off, but there's no denying that there has been a slight change to the taste. Really? They changed taste? Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the changed taste? The taste changed? Hmm. It's a bit smoother. You could say it's softer. Before the dishes were brimming with the chef's strong-willed style, but now it feels more accommodating to the cons uh, consumer. Okay. Interesting. So that translates into the taste as well? Well, that might just be my perception. True, a lot of it... Uh, a lot of stuff is in the high eye of the beholder, and, not, and I'm not talking a D&D &D creature. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. I was busy with the shop. What are you talking about, Boncho? The sea people loved your cooking. Hmm, if that's the case, I'm glad. Now there's no more earthquakes, let's get to work. Nope. No. See. Wait, we're missing someone. Where mm. is the pink one? Yeah, I think yeah, I think the rest of this I think the cooking and serving staff are getting a day off. No no the the pink uh, girl Yui Yui who's usually with the uh... yeah. yeah she's probably off running a show somewhere else. Maybe she's checking out the branch which is in the background now as well. Yep. Oh dear gods. Yeah, good luck over there, then, dudes. <laughs> and gals. Phew, it was a lot tougher than I thought, but... I met a lot of nice people in the end. Looking back, it was a fun adventure. I never would have visited a place like the Sea People Village in my life if weren't I not, uh, were I not giving the opportunity. Okay, let's relax and... Go for another exciting dive. <laughs> I was already drunk. Oh no. Yep. Hello there. <laughs> it looks like contact between both worlds might be a lot closer. Yep. <laughs> what the heck? 
<laughs> Maki. Oh. Up there. Oh, more relics. <laughs> Sato in his pedal boat. they finally getting to have more some more relaxing nights <laughs> and that's his hat from the start of the game funny star oh, oh hello uh, what the f uh the hell? What uh, in the name of? Uh, did that just level the branch? Cobra? Uh, but the. F oh. Dave's dreaming. Up, uh, uh, hello. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, this, this this is nice. Okay, it's a decent size to build for team. I do not matter, but almost thirty amount of them sounds like a decent size for this game. Yeah, there's still a lot of people around that and such, <laughs> but okay. And three to the artist, two three the. All right. They did it. Hi, yeah, so far, see, they, they may have not avoided uh, hiring too many. Yeah. Just right amount. Oh, it's, it's the director, so of course they take the most damage. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I forgot. You forgot to read the chat out. Uh, is it from Kisler? That this is like animal abuse. Yeah, more uh, like euthanization. Okay, yeah, this game... What else can I say? This game is definitely in my top favorites now as well. Like, it has some little tiny niggling bits that are still some, uh, some flaws, like a bit of translation here and there. But it's it was uncommon enough that it is more than excusable. Yeah, most of the criticisms we have for this is rather minor. Yeah, a bit of quality of life stuff could be added, but that would just be extras on top of just a lot of great work already. Yeah, I was to say, for me, we, we have had way more praises than complaints. Yeah, for, for a bit of comparison, uh, if they were to add more quality of life stuff to this game, it would be like adding the green tea or the beer to Bancho Sushi. It's already great without, and it's just extra. Um, uh, what? Uh, I think I'd look at the clock. <laughs> Almost time to end the stream. <laughs> Timing! Timing! Uh, and, well, now that we're finished with the main story of this game, we can move on to Dawn of War next week. Yeah, we might start Dawn of War this weekend, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we can just start with the other side quest games we plan yeah. to. And the classic... The classical... If always appreciated, and you at the end of the thanks. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 
But yeah, they... something if we destroy them all. I think it's just a little score distraction thing. If, instead of just watching a bunch of names scroll by, this is a lot more memorable and a lot more fun. Oh, thank you for playing. Okay. I'm going to actually did that. For once I want the <laughs> for once I want the screenshot button to work and it doesn't. Okay. I'm just moving. Okay. Print screen and continue. Alright. Okay, what are you up to, Cobra? <laughs> what was that? And achievement, a peaceful blue hole. Watch the ending credits. Did you sleep well, Dave? Yep, I finally got some sound sleep. I even dreamed there was exploring space. Things could cal uh, should calm down a bit now. Well then, check on any unfinished business. <laughs> Let's have a blast running Banjo Sushi. <laughs> Hello there, a wonderful Monday. <laughs> Thanks to your help, we were able to get a special in the magazine we issued today. <laughs> what a wonderful Monday? <laughs> Monday, with oh, new contents. <laughs> okay, we have that as a mini game now. All right. Oh, we got new posts. All right. Let's see what are they posting. Let's see. Yoshi, Bancho, Su Bancho Sushi seems to be hitting its stride now that things have settled down. Feeling relieved. All right, good people and good beer. This is happiness right here. And yeah, let's. Yep, we now have Space Diver. <laughs> Okay. I would not be surprised if there is still more content to unlock as the days progress. But for now, that'll be it with Dave the Diver then. So, let's yeah, save. So much for you to say, I don't we'll be finishing it today. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'll definitely be continuing be continuing to play this game. I'll record it and cut out bit uh, cut out anything that'll be of interest, like new parties, any other stuff that I manage to unlock somehow, and I'll put those on YouTube. But for as it goes with streaming, that'll be it for Dave the Diver. Like again, just this game really really surprised me. Yeah, I. I'd say the Suppose only one that, yeah, I'd say the only one that ma would match this game, uh, or maybe even be surpassed by this game, uh, would be Iconoclasts. And that that game managed to surprise me as much as well. Oh, yeah, I, I was wondering, like, if this Dave the Diver was this year's best game, would it make Iconic Iconoclasts the best game last year? Uh, of our streaming since this game came out last year actually but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah on our streams you know what I mean. yeah of our streams i would say so far dave is at the top like there's not speaking just in quality of the game because there's also like we also had doom eternal but we already knew what to sort of expect with that game not to say that it's a bad game or anything it's still a great game it's just that this game also has this, just the surprise factor added to it, and well, we can continue having fun with it after the story is done. And I do, I am curious now what the hell is up with Cobra and that explosion. So yeah, definitely a hook for Dave the Diver 2. And when that comes out, I'll stream it. Yeah, what do you see? Oh no. Yeah, there is still well, two of those patches on the fish farm. So there could be DLC instead of a full-on sequel, which would also be nice. Like, sometimes yeah. a game doesn't need a sequel. Overwatch 2, cough, cough. <laughs> uh. Uh. 
But yeah, with that. Okay. And from Pizza uh, Lore, damn fun game. Yes, damn it was. Right. Damn right. Okay. And I'm no longer need my diving gear. Okay. Let's change the screen share. We will see more of it on YouTube or on uh, on Twitch here if I just decide to have an extra stream day. And I just feel like Dave. So for now, though, let's go look for someone to raid. Changing the screen share to uh, Twitch. And let's have a look around. We yeah, have some stuff in the chat there from... Uh, not Glacier Boy. <laughs> Pizza Lover. Something yeah. about the uh, movie, to... right? Yeah, well, fun chatting with you. Hope to see you soon. Bye. See you next time, uh, pizza. See you next time, pizza. And we will be streaming more in this weekend. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We raided Hisaya Razir last time, so they're off the list. Swabe is playing retro games. Let's like, yeah, that's late. Let's take another, let's take a peek at that. Okay, they're playing Doom. Uh, next up is Corridust with Labyrinthine. Okay, what's this? Mazes and Monsters. I recognize uh, this game. Not a, it, it's old by now. Okay, they're so playing long. together with uh, Ice GF. Can't say I know them. We have Jimmy McGinger playing Super Mario Sunshine. Which I think might actually be the first or second Mario game that I ever played. It is Boy, not considered thing. the best among Mario games, but it is still considered uh, unique. Let's call it that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, read out chat for a sec. <laughs> we bless, bless the AXA? <laughs> no. No, not the, not the Twitch chat, but our chat. Uh, actually, you can't since it's not screenshot anymore. I'll just read it out. Uh, pizza lover, excuse me, did you just call me pleasure lover? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, anyways. If I did, I did not notice. I think I tried to say pizza lover, but probably uh, misspoke. Okay. I hope I, I hope I did not say that. Sorry. <laughs> Chubbers the Moon Seal, they're playing <clears throat> The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, apparently for the first time. Uh, someone doing arts. I'm a Flanker is playing Crusader Kings 3. WBPL is streaming Tomb Raider Gold. Okay, they're just they just started there in their free stream still. Big V Streams is playing Baldur's Gate 3. And then last but not least, we have Halloween playing Daymare 1998. And yes, this is that game that we showcased. That's Resident Evil. Uh, I wouldn't say knockoff. Uh, not Resident inspired. Evil inspired. Yeah. Okay. Well, who would you say to raids, or should we go look for someone else? Let me just take a peek around mm. the recommended. Oh, I've seen that I one think already. Isaac is is only recommended. What the heck? Uh, who is that then? It's a friend to Dre in IGP. Okay. Uh, the Scotsman who screams a lot in panic. So basically every uh, horror YouTuber ever, <laughs> but not Scottish. Yeah, no, he has a reason for you. He actually generally panics. Okay, like with, with some of those more popular YouTubers, it's very clear that at some point they started faking it. Like, I think with Markiplier, at least, he is mostly still honest with it. But people like 8-Bit Ryan, uh, yeah, no. 8-Bit Ryan has done some genuine ones, but he has also done some that he is obviously showing that he is faking it. Yeah. But he's done, but that's more of a have it as a fun with it uh, as he knows that oh, you, you just fake as he does it for as a joke but he has had moments where he actually got started in real life <laughs> he even been where he got so started he actually fought it loudly from it okay i remember at one point he supposedly broke his chair or something 
but yeah i i i i might unsubscribe from him because he does some unknown games that others haven't touched yet but i think he is leaning a lot more towards kids to watch his video now so it, it the intro bits sound rather condescending to me I have to check this out for this is does not sound like how he seemed like last time i watched him or also, also he was playing still like a resident evil and all that uh, I'm pretty sure he hasn't played that until a long time ago or something. Or maybe we're maybe we're confusing some people. To, uh, could be me no, no, confusing. I, I remember last time I was him, he was playing a lot of games that were rather gory. Uh, let's see. I'll just send you the last of the videos of his that I have in my subscription page to see I can if see we're it for talking some about reason. Uh, yeah, it's because it's the same browser still. Actually, that saves on having to send it. Uh, Control V. Bit. I, I, I have mm. YouTube uh, usually on my PlayStation uh, when I turn it on, so I can always uh, just Google YouTube up there easily. Uh, let's. The search function with this can be a bit nu of a nuisance, though. Uh. You run 8 bit Ryan. Uh, what the heck has Takahata been doing now? Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, this is the last game that uh, he uploaded. Uh, yeah, a game called Psych. Was that one you mentioned or were referring to? No, this one I did not know. It was, a, I think it was uh, two months ago, the last time. Checked him up or more? Yeah, yeah, that's a big that's a big gap, yeah. But yeah, I, I'm I'm just enjoying his content less and less because it's just yeah, starting to feel like he's aiming towards the lowest common denominator, or maybe not that low, but still rather low. Anyways, back on track. Uh yeah. who to raid or shall I um, pick? You mean back on track, right? Yeah, back on track. The you said back on crack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's yeah, let's just crack on and raid someone. Uh, Halloween. Let's uh, go for Halloween. Okay, we'll get to see more of this game as well. Okay, I copy the name. You assume nice entering raid. Spook Month. <laughs> okay. Um. We could try and prep a few games for that. We could put those on the sideshow since the current ones we have shouldn't take that long. Yeah, like we we have a may start trying to do the spooktober theme, but we probably we try to go for those shorter ones we know we can finish it within that month, or at least try to. For now, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, pizza lover. And uh, thank you, Dakir, as always. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for uh, joining. And again, <laughs> yeah, I... sorry, Pizza Lover, if I misspoke that so badly. <laughs> uh, at this point, you're going to end up calling him Pleasure Boy or something. <laughs> That's I going to not. cause Twitch to get a bit twitchy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sticking yeah. with Pizza Boy, but that's more of an actual term. Anyway, yeah, definitely enjoyed every single moment with this game. Maybe not every single moment, but like 99.9% .9 of the time we spent on this game, I definitely enjoyed. Yeah, and I'm looking forward you did... to... No, you did not enjoy it was when you had controller problems. Yeah, and that's and the last like... second shark attack at the surface. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. Okay, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this team. I'll definitely look into anything, any previous work that they've done. And yeah, whether it be DLC or a full sequel, I'll be keeping an eye out for what's next. I'm looking forward to what else they bring. For now, though, what we can look forward to is this raid. So let's get that started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and mutated prehistoric wildlife. <laughs>